Yo, what's poppin' peoples? It's your host of Toast TV. Your creator of Coast to Coast Customs, baby. Anyway, y'all know me. I'm here in the car at work. It's lunchtime, so I got five minutes to bring y'all something. I had to throw my hoodie on because I can't be showing my work logo. Anyway, this video is about the firmament. Firmament. And it's about Antarctica. It's 37 seconds. Let's get right to it. Gee, the maps. They're We're here on Earth before 1958, before the governments took them out. And I'm going to show you the Encyclopedia Britannica's in the public libraries before 1958. Here is volume two. Now, this is actually the Encyclopedia America. Uh, but the Encyclopedia Britannica is the same thing as Encyclopedia America. It's just uh, the Britain version. So we need to look I call up. it the Britannica. Anyways, this is volume two out of the alphabet A. We're going to flip to the Antarctica, which and this is from 1958, as you can see. Now, we're going to flip to the Antarctica and see what the Encyclopedia Britannica from 1958 before the Antarctic Treaty says is there. Now, you won't find this in the new encyclopedias because the government's discontinued them. But what I want you to notice right here is notice how it says the flights proved inland areas to be featureless in character with a dome 13,000 feet high at about latitude 80 degrees south longitude 90 degrees east take a really really close look at that now I'm gonna zoom it in for you so when they returned to New Zealand these flights proved the inland areas to be featureless in character with a dome 13,000 feet high at about latitude 80 degrees south, longitude 90 degrees east. Now, if this doesn't make sense to you, let me show you with an image on Google Earth's heliocentric model. And now here we are at 80 degrees latitude, 90 degrees longitude. And as you can see, we're about a what a third over uh, the supposed continent of Antarctica That's crazy. and there it's supposed to be the dome was supposed to be 13,000 foot high hmm makes no sense right okay now on this geocentric model all of us truthers flat earthers know that the supposed Antarctica is nothing more than the ice wall so if we go out here about a third over the ice wall, just like you've seen on the uh, heliocentric image, about a third over Antarctica, then this is where the dome comes down to uh, meet the ice, somewhere uh, hundreds of miles off through the ice desert there, but somewhere right in here around 80 degrees latitude and 90 degrees longitude. This dome was about 13,000 foot above this ice wall. Now, if you go back out into the center of the Earth, or up the North Pole, and try to go up to the firmament with a little bit of calculation, it's going to show that it's about 385,500 feet away. It's really, really simple. And isn't it awful coincidental that uh, the Antarctic Treaty of 1958 uh, bans anyone from going to Antarctica and guess where that ban starts at at the 80th parallel south and as you can read here Antarctica is a continent is located in the southern hemisphere it is the fifth largest continent and has an area of about 14 million square kilometers the continent is almost completely covered by ice and is very difficult to access there are only a few research stations that are located on the continent People can only visit Antarctica if they have permission from the authorities. Now, if you're not familiar with any of this at all, at all, and you're just now new to the, all this, it, you can say, well, this guy is crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But what, but what you got to ask yourself is, why do all the maps before 1958 show a flat earth with the ice wall around it? 
and a firmament, a dome. And not to mention the fact that all ancient cultures depicted a flat earth with a dome over it, a firmament over it, for thousands of years. And let's not forget that the Holy Bible depicts a flat earth with ice walls and a firmament, firmament being a dome. And why does the encyclopedia tell you that there's a dome there and it gives you the exact height at a certain latitude and longitude? Well, the reason is, is because in 1958, that's when all governments and all nations of the world signed the UN treaty to ban all civilians from going to the Antarctica. And NASA came in and erased everything just like they're erasing everything today. So again, ask yourself, if all this existed before 1958, why doesn't it exist now? How come it all of a sudden was erased and just disappeared out of your history books, out of your encyclopedias, out of your libraries? Wake up, people. Wake up. Man, okay, that's all I got, man. I ain't talked through that shit because that shit is deep. And that's like the second time that I kind of like, you know what I mean? Like heard it or whatever. So I wanted y'all to hear it too, man. So what y'all think, man? Let me know in the comments, man. I've been saying the earth was flat. You know what I mean? That's why we had those little shaky things. Remember them little shaky snow things? And, and you shake it around and shit. That's where they get that shit from, man. I'm telling you, it's a lot of lies, man. It's a the government is the, the, the governments of the world, they are holding a lot of lies, man. You know what I mean? Like I I, I tripped on I tripped on some shit today. Cause like yo, bro, we the fucking Indians. <laughs> we the fucking Indians. It's us. It's us. America might even be but the first man was born that's time for another video man anyway i'm about to get my ass out this car back upstairs it's that time and if you feeling my vibe like comment and motherfucking subscribe thanks y'all